Lady Spikers o Blue Eagles, saan pa ni kasuporta? Aminin natin ni ba ang rivalry ng dalawang powerhouse sa UAP Volleyball which started in Season 74. Tuwing finals, iba ang maximum efficacy ng bawat player mula sa bawat kuponan. Let us tell the score while we relive the best moments of the DLSU Ateneo rivalry. Kapag sinabing choose between Ateneo o Lasal, napakahabang debate niyan. Kaya naman, let's just enjoy going back to the historical rivalry of these two powerful volleyball powerhouse teams with the players themselves. Introducing to you the faces of Philippine Volleyball unang-una, representing Taft Avenue winning three UAP titles for the Lady Spikers. Walang iba kundi si MG, Michelle Gumbabaw. Hey! Hi Michelle, hello, hello, hello. Okay, thank hello! you for joining us. Wala naman Maynila, punta tayong Katipunan. Hailing Loyola Heights, UAP champion and three-time UAP MVP, Eliza Valdez. Wow! Hi, Eliza. Ako pala yun. Parang long time no si kayo. Super. Like kanina umaga lang. Yes. Yes, sa training. Every single day. <laughs> Every single day. Okay. okay, pag sinabing Ateneo Lasal rivalry, what is the first that comes to mind? For me, it's really volleyball. Because dun nag-start talaga yung rivalry for us na na-experience ko live na grabe yung intensity talaga ng fans. It's really different. The hype is yeah, different. Yeah. Technically, iba yung pressure ng, ng mga games if it's, it's at an LSL. May ibang energy talaga. Even in practice. Even in the community itself. Di ba kami naglalaban sa Moa Arena or sa Araneta noon? Kahit sa San Juan Arena pa lang kami noon, mapupuno siya ng mga alumni. Healthy competition na nabibigay ng bawat team. Tsaka aminin natin, may gigil talaga, no? May, Ako kasi wala masyado. Wala masyado siya lang. Kasi lang. <laughs> extra something talaga yeah. na okay guys kailangan ba natin at inayo? You don't know what, what it is yeah. pero there's extra push for you to be able to perform better and well. Yeah. See, when it comes to basketball yung Ateneo La Salle ng mga Rene Rene Titualo L.A. Tenorio, Joseph Yo. Kapag Ateneo sa talagang walang kaibigan-kaibigan. Yeah. Yeah. Pag sa volleyball ba parang what was it like? Oh Ateneo or La Salle siya pero meron bang ganun? Or parang wala lang chill lang kayo? Friends ba kayo? Back then kasi hindi talaga. Yeah. Like, hindi rin kasi ako very exposed sa volleyball noon. So ang kilala ko lang talaga is within the Lasal community. Yes. So the other teams, I never joined when I was in high school. So hindi ko sila friends. So pagdating sa court, magkaaway talaga kami. <laughs> <laughs> Personal talaga. Okay. <laughs> Wala kami masyadong interaction on off the court yeah. eh, as compared to ngayon. 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 Dati talaga, makikita lang kami during games. Talagang pag nagtatapat kami, parang, oh, it's the first time we're gonna play against each other. You Why wanna win. win. We wanna win. We wanted to win. Parang twas sa inyong na kayo yeah. nakikita. Diba? So, iba yung giggle First, talaga. Nagkaroon ng time na napuno yung San Juan Arena up to the stands. Kind of transition year and then the next thing you know, nasa Araneta na kayo. What was it like going through that phase sa so, parang wow? We're here now. Second round. Second round. That was my first ever Ateneo La Salle experience also. Iba talaga yung pride. And tsaka mga students na sumusuporta siya. Yeah. Iba yung feeling na the alumni is supporting you, the students are supporting you. So, you're just wanna, you just wanna play and yung pride talaga na gusto may balik sa school. Hype talaga siya. So, first time ko na-experience na eliminations pa lang, punong-puno. And ang daming hindi makapasok. So, I think yun talaga yung nag-start nung rivalry nung mga fans na talagang pumupunta sa game. So, it was really the start also of the volleyball scene here in the Philippines. Connected talaga yung playing years ni Lai tsaka ni Michelle. Two years ahead, if I may disclose that. Yung <laughs> ni Lai, nung nag-graduate si Michelle, dun sila nag-champion. Yeah, the first two years, I'm playing against La Salle with Michelle. Finals kami. Yeah. Dun kami second lang. And then after she graduated... Thanks to Michelle, nag-champion. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, my teammates now! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Kahit two years ahead si Michelle, marami silang mga Ateneo La Salle moments that they played in together. There's one that comes to mind. I think it's the first ever time we had that chance to win the championship. Kasi we won the game one of the finals. Yeah. And then they won the game two and game three. Oh, had that okay, okay, championship, pero it was taken away by... Fortunately Baka for all. Baka down niya kasi. Oh, okay. Bigay mo na. <laughs> oh, graduating. Graduating Buti na lang. Na. Friends na kami ngayon, Pesa, guys. Pesa, Disclaimer, Pesa. friends na kami ngayon. Pesa. I think kasi back in college, iba yung intensity, iba rin yung pride. How I played back in college is really so different. <laughs> and especially pagkalaban ko Ateneo. And pagkatapat ko pa si Eliza, all pressure on me kasi kailangan ko siyang mablock. Every time na mabablock ko or machicheck ko, may gigil talaga. Pero hindi ko makakalimutan. <laughs> Pag 
magsiserve ako pagkalaban Ateneo, binubuo talaga ako ng crowd. Oh, wow. So, yun talaga. Alam mo yung test ng character talaga yun. Kasi sabi ko, okay. Like, And you have to get over kahit, that. Yeah, kahit nanginginig na yung kamay ko. Kasi syempre kakabahan kayo. Pero pag narinig mo lahat ng boo, buti na lang. Parang mas ginaganahan ako. Pag when it comes to yung pinakaabang ang player mong makaharap. For Ateneo La Sala. Masyado pa kasi yung bata nung nakalaro ko si... <laughs> oh, oh, Wait na ba? Parang, parang gusto ko lang sabihin at same age na tayo this month. Wait na. It was actually Michelle. Kasi we know Lasal na grabe yung blocking nila as a team. Every time lagi sinasabi naman sa amin sa practice, we really have to outsmart the break blockers. Break the wall. Yeah, break the wall of uh, no, the, the Lasal towers, di ba? So lagi ako na challenge doon. So, thank you for that the challenge. For the challenge. <laughs> you will the love motivation. you for today. <laughs> exactly, exactly the point. Ang laking pressure talaga for the blockers na kailangan ma-check mo siya, ma-stop mo siya. So, kapag nabablock ko talaga siya, sobrang grabe yeah, yung celebration ko. Uh, Kasi sobrang parang, okay, minsan lang to. When I went up against them my first two years, it was kind of different when Eliza stepped in. Michelle, how does confidence bring the best side of you? Even when I started back then in college, halos dun lang din talaga ako na-expose sa volleyball. Yung dala ko nun, confidence lang talaga. Kahit medyo nagkukulang yung skill, nakukulang yung experience. If you have the confidence, hindi na lang mahahalata ng mga tao yun na kung ano yung mga kakulangan mo. Even when we're on the court, that's the key word that we remind ourselves. Confidence, confidence, confidence in every aspect. So it's a very, very important word for all athletes talaga. Yung confidence kasi yun yung magsiset apart din sa'yo sa mga ibang athletes also. Mm -hmm. You can never play your all or 100% or you can never know yourself inside the court if you don't have the confidence in you. As much as skills is important, confidence is very much important and I think it's one thing na it's very hard to learn and to train. Yeah. So, it's nice to be surrounded by great people who want to see you successful as well. Sa matinding labanan, big games, Championship games, how do you protect yourself? How do you prepare? What is your mindset when it comes to that? It really starts from, I think, preparation and practice together with your teammates. Yung confidence din kasi nakukuha mo yun kung paano mo pinipresent yung sarili mo. Magta-translate din kasi yun sa ginagawa mo on and off the court. It's not just about the skills. It's not yeah. about being togetherness. It's about being smart also. And siguro watching all these films and games to actually learn the tendencies of your opponents. So, Para sa'yo? With confidence kasi, it's something that you can't just learn basta-basta. It's also something that another person can't teach. You. you have to build on it every single time you step on the court. So as Lai said, it's preparation. Yes. Every game must win, must play your best. So in practice pa lang, you start playing confident, you you develop your confidence by preparing yourself and by working hard para pagdating mo sa court, talagang wala kang doubts and wala kang fears. Where do you find your confidence against your biggest rivals in the biggest games? So one thing siguro that I can also say as your teammates, dun ka huhugot din ng lakas and ng kumpiyansa when your teammates help you or talk to you or remind you of what you need to do or cover you when you make mistakes. So that's the beauty of volleyball. It's a team sport and nagtutulungan. So dun mo rin huhugutin yung confidence mo. It's the people that you surround yourself with, starting with the coaches and then to the players. Well, aside from the coaches, the teammates, I think it's really from within. It has to start from yourself. And aside from that, I think it's from all the supporters and the people yeah. who believe in you. You have to always keep in mind to look back and really thank all of them para talagang pag nagsistruggle ka, alam mo kung saan ka babalik. Kumbaga, going back to basics, finding what matters with your loved ones, with your teammates, to find that confidence in And I think you. it's the fans also. No? Yes, like in the definitely. Arena, pag punong-puno, ang lakas ng sigaw, rinig mo yung drums and they cheer for your team, it helps us. There you have it. Sana nagustuhan ninyo ang ating kwentuhan so far with Michelle and Eliza. It's time to hear more from our guests. Ito ay mabilisan, walang filter, at dapat sa totoo lang. Sa ating guests, kay Lai at Michelle, ready na ba kayo? Always ready! Always ready. ready. <laughs> Confidence! At sa tanungang ito, siguradong pagpapawisan kayo. So better make sure you have the maximum and non-stop protection. This is The Hot Seat. Lai, para sa'yo, dig or spike? Dig! Ooh! Wow. Spike! Lai, para sa'yo, serve or receive? Wow! Pwede ako nalang pumili? <laughs> okay, receive! Receive, oh! receive! Sige, panindigan mo yan. Pero, magsiserve muna ako. Ako serve kasi hindi ako marunong receive! <laughs> pawisang palad o pawisang kilikili? Oh. <laughs> pawisang 
Palad. Palad. Underhand. Sir. Underhand, okay. sir. Okay. Ako, same answer. Pawisang palad. Ay, bawal daw umulit. Tawas o deodorant? Deodorant Shit. tayo. Shit. Oh! oh! <laughs> deodorant. Oh. Arms up or arms down? I would always go for arms up. Pareha tayo ng answer. Oh, no. Michelle, sleeves or sleeveless? Since confident tayo today, sleeveless. <laughs> I totally agree. Sleeveless all the way. Sleeveless! Oh, last, spray or roll on? Spray ako. I like the sensation. Wow! Oh! Yung spray kasi parang medyo malamig siya. Tapos gusto ko roll on. Ang lupit. Hanggang sa pagsagot ng hot seat questions, palaban ng ating unstoppable volleyball stars. Thank you so much to Michelle Thanks, and Miss. to Lai. Thank you so much sa inyong dalawa. But before we let you go, Lai, uh, any messages to your fans and supporters? Panibagong tournament. Sana magkita-kita po tayo dyan. Uh, PVL Invitational Conference. Please do support the Creamline Cool Smashers and please do spread good vibes. Yes. And just appreciate all these athletes playing any sports here in the Philippines and representing our country. And volleyball won't be here now if it weren't for all of you who have supported all throughout the year. So, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. Kita kits tayo sa game. Thank you so much once again to Michelle and Lai. And up to this moment, ang rivalry ng Ateneo at Lasal nananatili pa rin buhay. At habang naghihintay sa susunod na laban ng dalawang kumpunan, maybe sa finals ng next season, patuloy tayong sumusuporta sa lahat ng women's volleyball players sa bansa. They are proving to us kung ano ang kayang gawin ng kababaihan sa larangan ng pampalakasan. And they have shown their maximum strength, maximum efficacy, freshness despite the stress and pressure, at syempre ang kanilang kakayahan to make the entire Philippines proud. Ako po si Mix Bustos and this is Setting the Score, powered every day with Rexona for the Unstoppable Youth.